Hello, friend of God. Welcome to morning prayer for Tuesday, July 30th. Today, I'll be your host, Aiden Rampersad. And before we begin, I just want to acknowledge that we'll be using the pattern of prayer authorized by the Anglican Church of Canada called Pray Without Ceasing. Now, before we begin, let's take a moment of silence, opening our hearts and mind to the love and presence of our Lord. O Lord, open our lips together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, together, that we may behold your power and glory. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O God. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then will I ever sing praise to your name and fulfill my vows day after day. God of our salvation, when we are depressed and fearful, teach us the way of quiet confidence and hope. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Now we will continue on to a second psalm, which is Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault a man? Would all of you throw him down? This leaning wall, this tottering fence, they fully intend to topple him from his lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. Lowborn men are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together, they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or take pride in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things have I heard, that you, O God, are strong, and that you, O God, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he has done. Lord God, in a threatening world we look to you as our rock of hope. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, and give us your grace and protection through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Romans chapter 16, verses 17 to 27. <clears throat> I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy over you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. 
The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends his greetings to you, as do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my relatives. I, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you this greetings. Erastus, who is the city's director of public works, and her brother, Cortus, sends you their greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him. To the only wise God be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Life Application Bible talks about chapter 16, verses 25-27, saying, Paul exclaims that it is wonderful to be alive when the mystery, God's secret, his way of saving the Gentiles, is becoming known through the world. All the Old Testament prophecies were coming true, and God was using Paul as his instrument to tell this good news. The Responsory Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. Together. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Together. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. Together. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may see the wonders of your law. An Affirmation of Faith The Apostles' Creed Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Prayers of the People As a responsory for this prayer, we will say together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. God of Jacob, may all who call themselves Christians become a priestly people to the praise of Christ Jesus our Savior. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. May our bishop and all bishops and other ministers remain faithful to their calling and rightly proclaim the word of truth. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. May Charles our King, the leaders of the nations, and all in authority lead their peoples into quiet and peaceable lives. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. Show your good will to all who live in this city, the poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, men and women. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. Help and defend the victims of our society and those who minister to them. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. Strengthen the faith of those who are preparing for baptism and of those who have been recently baptized. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. Count us among all your faithful witnesses, all the saints who have found favor in your sight from earliest times, like prophets, apostles, martyrs, 
and those whose names are known to you alone. Together, God of compassion, teach us your ways. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, so that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This concludes the morning prayer for Tuesday, July 30th. Thank you, friend of God, for joining us today. Let us bless the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. May the Lord find us watching and waiting for Christ's coming. Amen.